Cool. Let's go run a dungeon. Okay. Let's do it. Copper Bell. We have an hour and 45 minutes to get through two dungeons. And chat. This is exciting. I have been publishing these raw to YouTube over on Gaming Kinda. Um, and so for anybody kind of coming in on that, we are just going to be running these dungeons in order. This week we are on dungeon number three in both games. In Final Fantasy, we're going to have to um, also watch the trials as they come along because that's the only way that both games get to 130 of these. Um, yep. I don't know if we're still going to be doing this on episode 130, but it'd be nice to not have screwed up the pattern in case we are. <laughs> we get somebody to view in a cutscene. Are we getting Are we getting first time bonus? Yep. No. Are we? We should. Unless he just didn't turn off like I can't the... tell we were in limbs. I'm spammed with RMT. There you go. Oh, you left. No. Nope. I'm not getting first time bonus. So they've done it before. I was excited. See if I can remember how to heal. I have been crafting. That's all I've done since we last played together is crafting. I know. I saw that you guys had been crafting. I dinged And I was saying that crafting. now that the Ishgard stuff is a thing, I should learn how. Well, it ends. The race part ends in like, like, I don't know, six hours or something. Mm -hmm. For the last time of this expansion. But uh, the content itself, won't. I don't think it's going to go away. I think that the scripts and the mounts, there's some really cool mounts behind it. Um, those are all still going to be there. Those will all still oh, be nice. a thing. There's, so there's are you guys on the maps. leaderboard? No, I won't be. I won't be. I just hit 80 with my last job today. I was just using it as a chance to level. And then all the extra like level 80 and expert materials I got along the way, I got to sell to all the people that are competing. So I was not competing. Um, gotcha. But that's fine. I don't use titles. Um, I set this title to... The title I have equipped right now is Makai Black Mage from back when like I was trying to get that PvP achievement probably in heaven's word and that's the last time i worried about titles so <laughs> i just like fate walker and i don't even know what it was from but i thought that it was a really 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 cool title so that's just what i use i, I don't even know like the i think the one it. for fishing is master caster and if they had gone with more of a a, a bait theme i would have that one because i think that's funny um but that's that's about it. I, I just I don't know. Titles aren't my end game. There's so many of them in the game though. So for people that are, there's a million amount there. Same with like orchestra scrolls. Eleven hours and forty minutes. Okay. And then what happens if you if a, if a um if a server finishes early? So like Tomberry already finished. Are they? Does it? Oh really? Yeah. So is that because their server was at a different time? I have no idea. Wait. Is it Master Troller? Is it really? <laughs> no. That would be awesome. You guys so Far around. Edge of Fate is Fate Walker? So what was Far Edge of Fate? I don't even remember. I don't know. Um, the, the What is the equivalent of WoW? So WoW um, starts their raids at 10 mans. So you jump from 5 mans straight into 10 mans. Um, their lowest level difficulty 10 mans uh, are actually the 25 man LFRs. So 10, they do what's called flex rating now, where you can bring anything between 10 and 25 people and it just adjusts. Yep. So um, that, there was a thing where it was 10 and 25. 10 and 30. Oh, is it 10 and 30? Okay, either way. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a flex rate. So you see people bring, so LFR just kind of, and it's, it's like alliance raids, like it's super easy. So I think the dungeons and trials are, especially the early trials, they're four mans. So the early trials are just like really, really short, no trash dungeons. Um, they feel a lot like, and it helps you kind of adjust to the difference between the two. So there's not a direct parallel in WoW. So when we get to that point, it's gonna be kind of a weird comparison that week to run a trial fight, which will be over in six minutes. And then we'll jump into, hopefully it pairs with like, I haven't looked at how everything lines up, but hopefully it pairs with something like Wailing Caverns where we just get yeah, that's lost what I was in it. Assuming it that it like, would be was, was Wailing like, Caverns. Wailing Caverns can be eternally long. Mm -hmm. It I, can be. Especially if, if we, you were doing a full clear. Now you just clear three bosses of everything, but a full clear of Wailing Caverns, you just get lost. You run you in. You sent me a picture I can share with Chris. All right, hang on one second. What was that? I, I was sent a picture from Cloud in chat. Uh, oh. saying that I should share it with you. And I was like, all right, I, I, I will once my uh, 
<laughs> Once my attention is not oh, being hold, taken up by trying cold. not to lose aggro. I don't open up anything in links or anything midstream. I normally don't unless people tell me to or I say, <laughs> oh, like, you guys want me to, like, check out some videos and give you, like, my thoughts on it. Then I, I know will. a stranger is like, not a murderer as long as they tell me they're not a murderer. <laughs> it's like, just trust everybody that could ever post a link. Just tell me if it's a good link, guys. Yeah, yeah, it's a good link. It's a good yeah. link. Okay. <laughs> that's so bold. See, that's what I do, too. Everyone's like, uh, can I post a link? And I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I haven't had any issues yet. And then every single time I say I haven't had any issues yet, I'm going, today is going to be the day I have a freaking issue. And it's going to be nope. you, isn't it? Nope. <laughs> what data server? We are on Ether. So uh, data centers in four, yeah, data centers in 14 is kind of a weird thing. So you have three data centers in NA, three data centers in NEU, and you can only play with people across your data center, um, but you can jump between worlds to do yes, things. Yes, you can post them. In, in WoW, you have one data center, one per region. So you have NA versus EU, but then you split it between Alliance and Horde, and you can't cross those. Um, but anybody can create an alliance and horde character on the same server and then your server you have things like auction house and stuff like that bound But when you're out in the world, you're actually being tossed into different worlds Without even being asked the world visit is just kind of happening on the back end um, It's called their shard system and you don't know what shard you're on you're always and it's not even like a whole zone There's multiple instances of the zone There's there's instances within the zone and as you're walking without doing anything without any load screen or anything It's just constantly load balancing the server and just so everyone knows, like, that was a room where those were the only guys, but I'm, like, kind of slow pulling the guys in Copperbell because they de-aggro or enmity, if you want to call it that, very, very, very easily. So, like, I can literally have, like, one set in one room and one set in another room and go into the other room and they'll already be de-aggroed. So I'm pulling very slowly. <laughs> Do we need their fire sand? Why would we not just leave them? Uh, the ones that we, th those guys we couldn't skip, but okay. yeah, we do need fire sand. This is, this is the world's lamest fight. This I know. This is one of my least favorite fights in 14. And it's just, it's lame for melee. Yeah, you get like one hit on things. Oh, the worst is black mage and like, like the slow cast classes. I can't even tank you, them. You don't do anything. <laughs> like you, you swing at it and if you have like a melee DPS with it that can get to him and a yeah. tank that's on it, everything dies before you get a single cast off. Right. So you just sit here. It's awful. And you're stuck with level 17 abilities. So it's not like we all have like a full instant cast AOE rotation somehow saved up that our class might have later. There's nothing you can do. Oh, EU only has two? EU only has two. Okay, thank you. Source. Dude, um, just trust me. Thank so you. It all depends. Chaos I, I mean, don't know why I thought you had three. Archangel, it, it all depends on just like thank you. what type of people you want to play with. Like I feel like Crystal has more RPers from what I've heard. Uh Primal has been more into the raid scene recently. And I know a lot of people have swapped from Ether to Primal. Um, but honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know where, like, all of the top people usually play, if you're talking about it in that sense. I think switching but... for that is really risky, because, like, to have a good raid group, you only need seven other players. You don't need a whole server of them. Right. Unless your only thing is, like, Party Finder. The best? They do perform the best? Okay. Apparently, Aether forms, uh, performs the best st uh, statistically, but... I feel like I've seen positives and negatives from every data center, and all I really know is that if you're looking for RP, I feel like I've seen more people complain or talk about the RP on Ether. Or, uh, I'm sorry, Crystal. I mean, it's the same in, in WoW, like, oh, okay. people the tend to gravitate to where, like, the world, world first guilds or whatever are, but, like, that has no bearing, it's not like you're in that guild. Like, it's not like the whole server gets a perk because they're there. So I guess, like, I personally just don't understand that, that desire. Um, it's more about, like, do you want to run, like, do you want to run things with certain people, and are there content that's restricted? So, like, Cross World is so open that, like, honestly, you just need to be on the same data center as your friends. You don't even have to be on the same server. Is the, um, wait, is, is awesome. the sound bad for anyone else on my stream? 
Uh, I, it shouldn't be. They said that I was quieter than your game audio. Oh, okay. I can turn down the music and turn you up. Hang on one sec, guys. We don't actually have to fight these guys now that I think about it. We can literally run them up to the freaking lift, but whatever. And then just de-aggro them, but... There you go. Fight them off! Cool. Alright, hang on. Let me turn the in-game stuff down. Wait, not being able to hear you, not being able to hear Chris as much doesn't mean that the sound is horrible, you guys. Like, saying that the sound is horrible makes me think that- No, 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 no. get off the lift, don't get off. Get back here! No, 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 no! Get back here! No, 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 no! To me. We're gonna full clear this bad boy. Come on, we don't have to fight it. Get on the lift. Get on the- Oh my gosh, okay. Never mind. We're I'm doing it. <laughs> We're doing it. We're full clearing it. Everything must die. Here we go. I was just like, no, 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 wait, because I literally just hit the lever and <laughs> the Lancer just goes off and I'm like, wait, <laughs> no. But the experience, well, yeah, but can you guys hear Chris it's better now? It's 2,000 experience over that was like, Minutes, like you'd be better now off just running another roulette. Down. I I find I this dungeon more frustrating. The... I know a lot of people don't like Sestasha and Temtara. I find this one more frustrating because this is one with the slime fight, right? Yep. That's what we're doing next. Yeah. Yep. I I actively. So we have to go to both sides because we can get a. Uh, yeah. The stuff from both. This dungeon you hate the most? A lot of people actually say that. I just think it's like think super, it's super, favorite. super easy. I think it's my I least favorite. I don't think I hate any dungeon. I do hate uh, certain raid tiers though. So when I was doing the first tier of Savage, it was my first time ever doing Savage. So uh, the first Eden tier. And I really disliked Leviathan. Like I really, really, really disliked Leviathan because I didn't under, it, like it just was not like coming to me that the ping was so bad that I could walk in and out of like certain AOEs and things on the ground. Like as long as the cast bar was gone. Like it just was not like clicking for me. So it was just kind of funny. Have because you gone it was back literally and like you went from run one side to the other. And if you don't do it immediately, even when it like, even when it looks like the ability is over or like the cast bar is over, you can still get hit because of the ping and the snapshot. And that's not as much of a thing in WoW, or at least it isn't for me, because my ping is literally, like, 15 in WoW. So, <laughs> that was all of them, right? Yeah, should be good. We have two sands on us. I think it's just two pinches. Yep. Um, have you gone back and run a bunch of old savages and stuff, like on Min Isle or anything? Do you go back uh, and attempt all that I've, stuff? Yeah, I mean, I've gone back and done, like, um, Alex and Omega on Savage, but I mean, I just did it with people who knew how to do it, and we didn't do it like min eye level or anything, so it's not. Min eye level is a trip. Yeah. I miss Scott Zone. We doing this? All right, here yeah. we go. Do you want to, since you don't really have to heal me, do you want to just hit the thing? Um, sure. Because every time it hits me, I get interrupted, so I can't. So yeah. if you want to hit the blast, yeah, device. I'm just concerned they're gonna kill the um. The ads. She says. She says, "Don." Sorry, oh. I was trying to type too fast. She skipped the uh, t t kill the ads. The, the whole back half of that phrase. There. Okay. So I'm literally like, skip the bomb. Just like, don't touch it, my dude. He's not listening to me, probably. Like, we're probably gonna have to redo this because he's not listening to me. Um, I don't think I'll run out of mana. We'll just be here forever. Like, you will kill it eventually. It does take damage, it's not immune. There we go. All right, here we go. So that was just to get aggro on it, Dragoon buddy. Can we wait? Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Great success. We did it. Oh, the adrenaline of this fight. It's just so intense. Um, yeah, I just... Hey. 
I think it really shows off. I, I was using the device. Not me. And like this would I, be one of the fights that would get really screwed by letting us have our full kit, because if we could, if we could do more DPS, even if it scaled our DPS, if anything got missed okay. in the scaling process and we accidentally were able to do damage to this off. boss, not I'm not going to be able to do it. He has like someone would, else has to click the blast. We would device. tear it down. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Because now I have two guys hitting me. Dun, dun. I mean, I could have told him to do it, guys, but he, he, he is nervous, you know, huh? it's his first oh, time in here, let him just, I got him, I provoked him. I just don't want him to kill the blasting cap, that's all. He can do whatever he wants, as long as he doesn't attack the blasting cap. Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Uh, Not me. Okay, we're doing it. We're going to get this boss down. <laughs> I have wiped on this boss before. I'm the tank, so I'm the boss. My dude, I don't even have to be tanking to think I'm the boss. <laughs> like, That's why I said the chair could do this. Like this, this hey. dungeon is, this dungeon's very reasonable. But it is the first, it's like the first time that you just have to do mechanics. Like it's not like, oh, there are mechanics. It's like, no, no, you have to. And then we follow this up with what, Halatali next week? And Halatali, you can ignore mechanics. Uh, except for the final boss. Final I'm boss. I'm trying to tell him to use the blasting device now. Uh, yeah, I do remember that, but it was different. Oh, I was trying to tell the, the Lancer to... I got it. It's okay, though. No, I mean, I know you did. I just thought he'd be excited. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he'd be excited to have a job, right? Nope. Guess not. Alright. Is this the one where we can damage him now? Yep. Oh, now, they're, now we can kill him. Hey, Tokyo, you're looking forward to, oh, the Dark Knight side quest. Yeah, eventually. I uh, I can do the Dark Knight stuff again soon. And uh, this is actually, this is good because it, it helps me level uh, another tank over here. But the next thing I'm going to be focusing on leveling uh, is going to be my white mage. So I'm going to be learning how to heal so I can finally do the healer role quest, which will be fun, I think. Um, If you haven't done any of them, you get a mount. Yeah, no, I know. I've done the the physical one, and I've done the tank one. I haven't done the healer one, and I haven't done the magic one. Have you done your Hall of the Novice stuff? Yeah. It's the closest thing that 14 has to Exile's Reach from WoW. It's Hall of the Novice. It's where you get, is it the, the ring from there? Earring? Ring? I think it's the ring. I think it's the level 30 ring. I think it's the Yeah, it's the ring. Oh, thank you so much for the resub, Cloud. One more and bomb. This is, it's not it's not that intensive content. Like it kind of just it's relatively mindless. Um, I don't know how they fix it. Like it's fine for what it is. It just like it actually feels less exciting to me than Sestasha and, and Tamtara. I think you can pull harder. You you think okay. I, I, I was trying not to, but... They seem to be fine, and I'm fine. You're not really Is taking... That, I, you're not taking very much damage. Like, I don't know how much you feel you have as far as mitigation goes, but... Oh, no, I'm fine. I just didn't want to be that person. You know what I mean? I don't know. And I have been away. for the last couple of dungeons that we've run, but I was just like, well, and technically stop? I could pull all the way up and people could... I'm getting more abilities, not less. No, I know. Oh, well. Bold move last. Yeah, time. but this is everything we've got anyway. I just didn't Ooh. realize that... I mean, I probably could have pulled all the way up, but I wasn't sure. Um, did I see the Reddit thread talking about the guy chronicling hey, the times that he corrected people for doing bad things? No, I haven't. Um, the Reddits for both WoW and 14 are shockingly similar tone. For the fact that the communities, like, 14 is so positive and is all about, like, welcoming people, um, the Reddit shows kind of a broader spectrum of how people feel about things. And on WoW, like, you can, you walk into a dungeon your very first time and you screw something up and they're like, what are you doing? How do you not know? And there are nice people. Yep. Like, I've had people help me, but, like, that's not the one you remember. The one you remember is the person that insults you the moment mm -hmm. you make a single mistake in content you've never done in your life. 
And, and then, uh, like, you can have never done anything, especially walking in there as a tank, and everyone expects you to know where to go. And there never used to be, like, maps for dungeons either. So it was like, I don't know where to go. So then you'd have, like, um, like a dungeon leader as well as a tank. And then the dungeon leader would be the one to show people where to go, essentially. Has WoW yeah, ever yeah. banned somebody for things they did off-platform? Like, I, like if they go uh, make a Reddit yes, post just but bashing it was somebody? Like, the only one thing I do know of was one of their big um, commentators for uh, the Mythic Plus dungeon when they were doing like the invitationals for it and such. Um, he was in another chick's stream like he raided her stream just to be a jerk and like say crap about her and things like that i guess Why? and um and i think the only reason that he was actually banned from wow and he actually had time away from when he couldn't um commentate either it is because he was like at the time the face of the company because he was commentating and then uh and then that happened because he was essentially like um, like talking down to her and stuff and like getting everybody else to have like that mindset to talk down to her. But that's the only one I know of. I don't know if anyone else knows of another. But it was because he was being- I know 14 will do it. I know 14 will ban you off platform. If you start posting screenshots of people that you think are garbage or whatever. Oh yeah, they will, absolutely. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, guys. Follow so, I will guys say, like, for as much for as much as the Reddit can be a place for people to let off steam that they can't let off in game, there are still limits before Square steps in. And WoW doesn't really curate a lot of what happens on WoWhead or even their own forums. Their own forums, their response is a very corporate response where, like, mm -hmm. if the New York Times were to screenshot this, would it look bad that we left it up? That's the level of care they have. Would we have to explain this if they said, look at this behavior they're condoning on their official forums? And so their response is when a thread pops up that gets out of hand, they don't try to curate or get it back on subject or address it. They just delete it. Like, right. the moment that it has any chance of blowing back on them, they just delete it. Just get it gone. I'm going to commend the little Dragoon. I'm so excited about him. Good job, buddy. Commend. Commend. There we go. Cool. Loot. So, t I mean, not Eight. necessarily. Not a Eight. typical WoW player. Ooh, I, mean, I rolled a 99. I, mean, I didn't act like that. I would never go into anybody's stream and unless I knew them. <laughs> unless we were friends. What? Then I'd go into somebody's stream and be really sarcastic with them, and I know that they would be really sarcastic with me, and that it would be okay. What is plan A? It's like, like this is going to be great. Well, well, I'm going to go into somebody who's taking the time to put themselves out there, and I'm just going to try to ruin their day. Wait, yeah. this company isn't thrilled about that? That's like the people that were trying to make that add-on and develop that add-on that uh, for 14 that let you show your character naked. And then Yoshi P said, <laughs> maybe don't. And they, and like, they were like, what? Come on, man. <laughs> like, what? what? I just love what that did you expect to him? Follow, to follow that up, having the scene in E8S where Reen is like, is the vessel for Shiva, and then she does the Sailor Moon switch where she's naked, and it's a look away mechanic. I feel like they did that purposefully right after the live letter. Stopped. I know, I know. And like, if she's, and if she were to uh, imagine <laughs> what a, uh, what a, what a version of Thancred is, there's no way that guy has a shirt on. There's no way. There's oh my no gosh. way. It was just, it was so Talk good. About I feel like tension. he did it. Yeah. Like, I feel like right. it was on purpose because it's like, oh, she's naked, look away. Like, oh, I love it. And then it was even better because in our static at the time, we had a leader who literally would be like, you curves if you didn't look away. <laughs> like, if you were trying to greed that one last hit, he'd just be like, you guys are just... <laughs> but yeah, no, we uh, so we're comparing 14 dungeons to WoW dungeons. So the next thing we're doing next, yeah, is Wailing Caverns. I know, Cerberus, like unless you're watching Sailor Moon. Like that's okay. So somebody told me in my comments that Transmog respects the level requirement of that gear. Does it now? Yeah. So I can't, so that's why my Shaman has such limited Transmog options, is as I level, I will have better Transmog options. I didn't know that. I, I, I don't level enough before... alts to know that. I was like, I bet, I yeah. bet there is a chance that Xandria already knew that. And she's like, of course, because you're more of an altaholic than me and that I create one character in games and that's it. And um, you 
use like Fantasia on stream and have like a whole like a whole stream about picking a character appearance. So I thought you might know. I didn't know that, honestly. And the only thing I did know that they had changed was before, like, for certain weapons, you could only transmog, like, if you were a druid and you used a staff, you could only transmog a staff into a staff, but now you can transmog it into other weapons. Whereas before, you couldn't do that. But I didn't know that it was level specific. Honestly, I had yeah, no idea. It's kind of neat. I know the seasonal stuff is, is seasonal bound. So you can only use, like, you know, Great Father Winter's set during right. Win oh, right. winter Right. Oh, right. Let me mail. send him the picture. Hold on. All right. Get going. You know, I will say we got better at this. So our very first episode of this was an hour and three minutes long, and I said the second one's going to be way faster because we won't run Mara in the middle. And I got it down to a breezy fast, lightning speed, fifty-seven minutes. Um, nice. So we shaved off four <laughs> whole minutes by trimming Mara out of this because we we get to chatting. <laughs> and that's why I was like, I literally left everything raw and just left everything. <laughs> You just publish from where my thing ends to the end? Yes. No, I, I had all of our talking in the beginning of it as well. So I had like all of that. And then I took out the first portion of the the dungeons. And then I had like, a, it was pretty much just all of our discussion, essentially. Classic dungeon, specific dungeon. We're not doing that again. BFD. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. I don't know why it's I perfect. thought they'd put us in stockades. We're jumping all the way to BFD. What? I know. I know. No. Oh, come on. I wonder if Stockade's got moved to being Alliance leveling. So oh, we are going to no. jump all I've the way to Ashenvale. Black Fathom Depths. Do you know the map for BFD? Sort of. Um, let me make sure my inventory is reasonable here. Because I haven't mailed myself bags yet. Yep. You, you're a tank. I'm a healer. Let's do this. A road check has been, been a, submitted. How could this go wrong? Reen during literally oh, oh, all of Eden. Okay. My stream literally just, like, closed. One second. Not on mine. Like, my stream is still up, but I accidentally closed the page somehow, and I don't even know how. Oh. So, let me just get back on there. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that, guys. That was weird. And then and then next week will be Nomer. I like Nomer. I don't know why I thought Nomer would be before BFD. Nomer's... I actually like Nome. Hey, there's no Wailing Camerons. And I love how. But there are I'm, three I'm actually Maradons. really upset about that because I like Wailing Caverns. There are three Maradons. So they kept all the paths of Mara, but they didn't keep Wailing Caverns. They didn't keep stockades in. Um, we're going to run RFK, but not RFD. Yeah, see, I like RFK too. We're not going to run RFD? Apparently not. Oh wait, and they I moved the stockade to the end. I'm not even a huge end. fan of Black Bathroom Deeps because oh, we they moved, we moved the stockade to the end. Let's recently. go run stockade now. Stormwind stockade. Let's run that next. That's less mechanics than BFD, right? Stockades. That's yeah. Li yeah. I mean, it's literally going to take us two order? seconds. It'll just be a lot of heals. Great. Why and is then that we'll at the go, bottom of the list? Because it's alphabetized. We'll pull like the whole thing. Oh, I don't bothered. like that they don't have these in like the order of what their mechanics are. They're being tricksy. All right, I'm queuing us for stockades. That's way better. Scarlet Monastery, Scarlet Halls, those are in the 30s. Those would be tough. RFK should be mid mid 30s, mid 40s. Mara should be 40s. Nomer is relatively early on. BFD is, is relatively early on. But, but like Stockade Wailing Caverns was like originally like 17, something like that. Yeah. Stockades huh. is just gonna be an irritating heal thing, but it's literally going to be like a straight. Way shot, back in the day, as Horde, you would have very rarely seen this before you could queue into dungeons by remotely, because this is in the middle of the capital city for Alliance. So it would be like having to run to the middle of Wulda to get into a dungeon. So Whoa! Double shaman, double mage. You ready for some magic damage? No sarcasm, you swear. I mean, you ready for some bad. magic damage? As long as everybody stays in the middle. Let's go. All right. Uh, Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 dude. Why? Why? I know. I know you're a mage, but come on. Let's not. Let's be careful. This dungeon can be irritating. Just oh, oh, they do a lot of damage. Okay, I am not as upset as I was.
All right. That wasn't so bad. I almost caught you in DPS. I mean, by almost less than half. Ooh, you were taking a beating. Yeah, I just realized that. I have my ignore pain on now. Sorry. Because I pulled everything. As a dungeon layout, though, the only reason this gets a pass is because it's so short. Like the yeah, idea that you would really run left is. and then come all the way back to run right. That's a very I know, old, That's a very old school way of planning a dungeon. Is they design so it like what? an actual like prison and then let you deal with that. Yeah. So what happens, Alitza, is if you don't stay in the middle for that, like it's literally that you can pull everything from the side room. So you're supposed to stay on the path. I don't have, uh, ignore pain, ignore pain. Okay. okay. They're all stunning me. Like I oh. cannot, I, I wanted to pull one group, not all the groups, but it's okay. <laughs> this is just non-stop healing surge. Do I have any I know, other heals I, on the I bar? have three seconds. No, I don't. I don't have other heals on the bar. Ridiculous. Alright. I thought maybe, I was like, well, maybe I do. Caverns? It wasn't an option, was it? Like, uh, it, just, it was it not was in the option. It, it, maybe they add it later. Maybe they have them in some weird order now. Because I was told as we yeah. go that more and more will open up. So that's not all the ones for Classic. I don't know. This is the first time I've gone through the new the new way of leveling. The new way of leveling was, was added with pre-patch to this expansion, so it's all different. Mm -hmm. uh, and if anyone oh, doesn't really know small. about this boss fight, essentially he just really, really loves to hit you. He loves to wildly stab at you, which is nice that every single other uh, people we have are ranged in the group. And then he does this really irritating thing where he goes in Viz, and when he comes out, you lose aggro, and so you have to get aggro again the moment that he uh, becomes visible again, and is very irritating. Worst you ever had was a World of Darkness run where the group was in was intentionally ruining mechanics. Well, they, yeah, that would do it. Yeah. Um, the list is weird. I don't know why Wailing Caverns isn't on the list. You yeah, never played sorry, WoW, your friends often share stories with and you. It's you surprising how a WoW player uh, thinks this... I, I mean, add-ons are a big part of of kind of, like, to the just your... Add-ons are a big part of it because at this point, the game has been developed with add-ons in mind. So it's, it's a two-way street. So, like, people are like, well, 14 added this great thing to the UI. Great, WoW didn't have to because they already know it's handled. So we'll go to Fireboy so, first. The only big things in native that they can do better than how the add-ons are already handling it. So like the native UI doesn't have nearly the features of it because they're like, well, you're just going to install LUI and all these other things anyway. And everybody has so much, there's 9,000 different ways to set up your raid frames. Why would we try to build in a tool when people can just install what they want? <laughs> you feel baited. I know. I, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to... That's what I thought we were gonna... Like, I assumed that it would be next. I don't I don't even understand why it's not... Why that didn't come up. That's weird. What's going on late? So what we're doing right now is we're running um, we're running one 14 dungeon, which we just did, and now we're running one WoW dungeon. I'm not changing the stream name to WoW, uh, because we're only in here for like 10 minutes. And Aerith then I'll go right, back, is it then I'll go right back to 14. No. So, we're just comparing them. So we're doing a little both. Uh, we're doing this every Thursday from noon to uh, 2 central, and then I'm posting this portion of this over on my YouTube channel, and then Xandri's posting the part the after this to her YouTube channel. So if anybody has any really good questions that they have between the two, you guys should uh, figure those out and then let us know what they are. I think my video for tomorrow is going to be, I haven't, I haven't decided which one goes live tomorrow, but I think it's going to be me talking about vendor shuffles. Because 14 doesn't handle economy the same way, and I think if we come out of Ishgard, people are, there's people that are frustrated with the way the market board functions. Um, and WoW has a couple of things that have helped them, but they're all community-driven behavior, and the system mm -hmm. just doesn't break them. There's actually... Um... A, video, a couple of videos too that just came out that people were talking about how tough it is to have alts in 14 
and there are some people that actually want to have alts like myself on uh, different data centers so that you can play with everyone, especially like being a streamer and everybody's like, oh, Zan, I want to do this with you. But it's hard for me to actually be able to it's, level up my characters on those data centers because you can do so much on one character, which I think is amazing because like in WoW, you can't be every single job on one character. So it's nice having that ability, but at mm. the same time, it's just like, New dungeon unlocked: Skolo, RFD, Oldman, Zulfrak, Diremall, 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 and Stratholm. So they broke Dire Diremall into three. Diremall is fun. Strat is Strat's really fun. Gonna be oh my gosh, that would be so much fun for you to heal dungeon. that gauntlet. <gasps> but no, uh, the Aerith cosplay isn't behind the tree. If we hit our sub goal, I'm gonna do the Aerith cosplay because people were saying, "Zan, you haven't done an Aerith cosplay in a real or a cosplay in a really long time. You should do Aerith because your hair matches it now." Ah. And I was like, "Well, all right." And I leveled. Uh, I do want to equip those. I don't want to equip that. But I can't be in combat for that. See, this is what's irritating. Is we pulled guys from the room next to us. So that's fun. I'm gonna take a wild guess at which which uh, mage did that, based on mm -hmm. the fact that half their life is missing. Just a stab in the dark here. Because he's also like he pulled them, but then he's doing the most damage too. Yep. Yep. So he keeps getting aggro. So I keep having right. to wait for my taunt to be off cooldown and grabbing him. Which part which of that could means be... that I can't use no, any of my control. other abilities. Which is oh, great. They're also going to be super overpowered because they're only level 14, so the way Heirloom works, they're going to be just massively overscaled. For the first 20 levels, that's that's the only reason I can keep up is because right now Heirloom is just so broken. Because you literally, at for the level I am, I have items in slots where traditionally you wouldn't even have anything equipped. So I'm getting stats from things that shouldn't exist. And I actually mentioned this before. I just thought it would be fun not to use Heirlooms, so I'm not. <laughs> I will Having fun healing me? <laughs> cool. There we go. Yeah, I guess I wanted to pull all of them. Thanks, mage. Thanks. <laughs> you wish gear would be account bound instead of character bound in WoW. Some things are. They're really good about character bound. 14's real bad about it. Um, because they don't expect people to have multiple things across their account. Um, it, just not everything. The, yeah, they used to be more account bound. I am out of mana. And then they made it so that you could buy stuff with gold. So when you could start buying the looms in Undercity with gold, that's essentially when they changed it. All of the other stuff used to be that you would have to get justice points. And once you got justice points, you would have like that set of gear. And so people didn't have enough justice points for like the different types of stuff that you could level like wearing plate or mail well, also, or whatever. And so just to level, like they would just still wear cloth. Also before stats were like shared, like where a piece of gear could change its main stat based on the spec equipped, you had heirloom sets, like you had a plate healer set and a plate tanking set and a, plank DP, and a plate DPS spec. So like the number of heirloom sets that you had to have was mm -hmm. a lot larger. You bought an heirloom yeah. set for one specific alt. Now you buy a plate set and you can level every plate wearer in the game no matter what spec you want to play. You may have to buy a couple extra weapons. So like that's that's a key difference there. I have been mana like we've been pulling nonstop. I am totally tapped on mana. That's okay. I have like everything now and this is the last boss. So. Like he's just going to enrage and hit me hard, but Uh-huh. Oh, Bye. never mind. Bye. <laughs> my my stuff was about to come off cooldown in 3 seconds, but you guys got it so this better. Hey, thank you for the lurk. In we WoW, why do you subdue Hogger in the open world? So essentially what happens is you subdue Hogger in the open world, and then he gets brought, and he's actually in, um, like, a little, like, prison type thing. And he's talking about how he's going to get out and all of this stuff, and it actually leads to um, the, the, the actual quest line, thank you, for um, four stockades. So he gets out of this little, like, the wooden, like, placard thing that you have him in after you go kill him and bring him to this area in the open world. And then, um, 
when everything starts happening for Dead Minds and the Van Cleefs start uh, trying to rile people up who are really poor, everyone gets mad and he gets out of the stockades because everyone's attention is toward all of the other people for Dead Minds. So he gets out and then, yeah. But then they try to catch him again and they put him in the stockades. So originally when you catch him to begin with, that's where he is. He gets out and then they catch him again and put him in the stockades. And then you have to fight him in here because he's essentially like breaking out again. But yeah. So I will go hand this quest in. Sorry guys, I get really excited when people ask me questions like that because I'm oh, just like, good. that was fast. Oh, that was the fastest you. one yet. That was our fastest one yet. We're done. 